Disclaimer. This video is a comparison of Diablo 4, Vessel of Hatred and Ongoing Seasons, Path of Exile 2 and Titan Quest 2. As a massive Titan Quest fan, I am heavily biased towards Titan Quest, but take note that I have played a lot of Diablo and some Path of Exile 2. I don't intend to shit on your favorite game, this is just my perspective on what next IRPG to play and why. If you disagree or think that I am wrong on something, please let me know in the comments. Starting with Diablo, we gotta talk about earlier Diablos first. Diablo 1 was a pioneer in the action role playing game genre. Diablo 2 was so awesome as well and it set standards for the genre as well. Yeah, Diablo 3 was so much fun, I played that on console uh, with co-op. It was just awesome. But then Diablo Immortal with its pay to win killed it for me pretty much. Then I heard about Diablo 4 and yeah, then it happened. Diablo became heavily monetized with its seasons, battle passes, the online only mechanics, microtransactions and so on. Call me old fashioned, but I hate this practice. Yeah, and this game has recurring payments and this is a deal breaker for me. I just want to buy a game once and then play it. I mean, don't get me wrong, the world of Diablo, the weapons, the characters, character design, classes, the art style looks really good. It's a bit edgy. I mean, the title is Diablo 4 Vessel of Hatred. <laughs> Can't get more edgy than that. But I like the dark atmosphere, the desolate wastelands. But what I don't like that much is that one meta of playstyle has always been established in Diablo games for each class. And you couldn't really pull off crazy builds that focus on one specific item or good hybrid characters were pretty much impossible, at least to my knowledge. And this is a bit one dimensional that there's just one perfect build and everybody plays that. I, I'm not a great fan of that and also not of the heavy monetization. Okay, that's good and all. Let's talk about Path of Exile, specifically Path of Exile 2. Path of Exile has very exciting visuals. It has an awesome atmosphere. The world looks very intriguing and Path of Exile always had fun gameplay and a good campaign. Yeah, and it's more of a horror atmosphere. The thing is, Path of Exile is not really beginner friendly. It has over complexity with the gems, gem slots that you put in all of your gear and this gives you the abilities. I have never been a big fan of that. It doesn't help that there's a weird passive skill tree or two or three of those and it's not easy to respec. And unless you have a good build to follow, which is basically the matter, your hero is pretty much trash and he falls off really fast in the end game. What annoyed me the most about Path of Exile is, towards the end game when a character gets stronger, that there's too much stuff going on and the screen is full of spamming of abilities pretty much. It's just a spam fest and even a melee character can spam all the time. This is a melee character here. Melee. He's exploding the screen all the time. This is not melee. Well then, let's talk about Titan Quest. Titan Quest 2. I'm loving the Greek mythology setting. It's really something else. It's not as edgy. It's a little bit brighter. Yeah, I like this kind of setting. Not everything has to be edgy and dark and death is everywhere. The look and feel are more on the realistic side. There's no heavy monetization, it's no pay to win and there's no online only crap. You don't have to stick to the meta to build very powerful characters. And 
Farming feels very rewarding. In Title Quest, there's so much room to build what you want. Title Quest 2 will even expand on that. For example, if there's one amulet that gives a crazy ability, then that alone enables a whole build crafted around it. The game is somewhat beginner friendly and still offers almost infinite possibilities. It's possible that beginners can get into it easily and pros can go wild with theory crafting. Also, there's no proc gen, so the world doesn't generate itself at random. So you can either go explore everything in a handcrafted world, or go fast on the path that you already memorized. The best thing about Titan Quest though is that you can pull off so many crazy builds as opposed to the meta playstyle. So, which one of these three will you play? Will you even play something else entirely? It's up to you. So, uh, do you want to play a game that is monetized up the ass and that you have to continue to pay for again and again to keep up with the new releases? A game that's only playable online and that is dead the second that Blizzard switches off the server. Blizzard doesn't care that much about the players so much that they care about the money. Otherwise, they wouldn't use the strong name of Diablo, which has a very rich history, to trick customers into buying their product again and again, basically subscribing to it. If that's not your thing, why not go with Path of Exile? Well, I'll tell you why. Because it's an overcomplicated spam fest that is more of a nuke simulator than an ARPG. Seriously, you just follow the meta for each class, then you can blink around and explode everything on the screen. If that's your thing, go for it. I'll go with the king of ARPGs of all time, Titan Quest. You pay for it once, and if you like it, you can buy some DLCs after a couple of years. You can also play it offline, which kinda makes sense in an ARPG where you grind levels and farm for loot. Titan Quest will also have almost limitless possibilities for builds. You don't need to follow the meta to make classes very strong. For the other two games, you have to follow what is the best to keep up. For Titan Quest, you can come up with crazy out-of-the-box ideas and can make them work. Maybe this is possible for the other two, and I haven't played them enough. It's possible. Well, but for Titan Quest, the sheer amount of possibilities on which mastery combinations you pick, which abilities and especially their modifiers you use, and how you allocate your skill points opens up an almost infinite number of strong, viable builds. In a game that has some down-to-earth fighting, where you don't explode everything on the screen every second and that doesn't rip you off shamelessly, that's the way to go in my opinion. Well, which one of the three will you play? Let me know in the comments. Thank you for watching and see you guys around. Bye!